So in this video we'll be talking about Vega's latest mining performance update. It was able to push around 43 mega hash per second with around the same TDP of an RX 480 pull with a power around 130 watts so it might be interesting to you as a miner and as a gamer you should feel a bit worried. So a Vega 64 user claimed that running this GPU with a core clock of 1000 megahertz and a target power of negative 24% and the memory overclocked to 1100 megahertz you will reach those numbers which makes it the best score for mining right now. A lot of people question those significantly low power he's attained so he posted some screenshots as you can see right now that system as a whole on idle pulled around 158.5 watt and on load it pulled around 445 watts which yields a delta of 287 watts and I guess he was running on a crossfire configuration so he was pulling around 140 watts per GPU. Now from what I understood he was using the Corsair HX1000 this power supply has 92% power efficiency which I guess it means there is a margin of error where the power supply pulls more power than it needs from the wall. So yeah I might be wrong at that so if I'm wrong uh, you may correct me down in the comments I would really appreciate it. So this means that a lot of mining companies will make the switch to Vega GPUs especially that he also claimed a Vega 56 GPU could reach the same numbers a Vega 64 did. So you'll not find Vega GPUs anywhere on sale the next period of time and also if you're a gamer then I think that AMD don't care about you it's a fact I think they are pretty busy with their CPUs Ryzen and Ryzen Threadripper they want to get back into the CPU game so they decided just to make GPUs suitable for mining so they can make a lot of profit from them at the end they were not making a lot of profit from us because the competition that Nvidia provides and Vega GPUs to be honest are not that you know fast so why would you get it unless you're an AMD fan and they also may weren't making a lot of profits when they were selling these GPUs for the same price of Nvidia's if they even did because of the really expensive brand new HBM2 architecture now yeah they will sell their GPUs for a higher price and they will get sold out because of this great mining performance and uh, yeah uh, to be fair who would say no to that I mean they're the only company that miners rely on so that's a brand new hungry market that needs good GPUs for mining so yeah they are the chosen ones at least for now but for now as a gamer the best option for you is to go for Nvidia GPUs if you didn't find the AMD GPUs for a good price obviously and in my opinion the good GPU in the high-end market is the GDX 1080 for around $500 but you can tell a good deal when you see one I'm pretty sure of that and that doesn't mean that the GPU market will be sleeping for the next period I mean I recently saw great deals like for example in Micro Center they were selling the GDX 1080 Ti for $550 which is a really crazy deal but let me know what do you think about AMD and uh, the future of GPU market because I think it will only get worse cryptocurrencies are getting really popular now and I'm not feeling really good so uh, again let me know what do you think in the comments and share this video if you found it helpful or something like that and like that video press on that subscribe button so you'll see more videos like this I will post about four videos a day until the end of this month yeah let's uh, let's try to do it Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Peace.